I am Styling. Adventures in Pop Culture is brought to you by StylingOnline.com. What's up, fans? It's KP here at C2E2 in Chicago with John Bernthal from The Walking Dead. How are you, John? What's up, man? Good, good. Good to see you again, bro. Good to see you again. Uh, last time we were catching up at the SAG Awards Gift Suite, mm -hmm. we were talking about the, the show and all yep. the wonderful things came from it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't help notice the number of fans that were still here to come and talk about The Walking Dead again and again and again. So mm -hmm. you're getting a lot of fan play, man. Man, I, I'll tell you, I think that the Walking Dead fans, I'm not just saying this because um, I work for the Walking Dead, but I think they're the best fans in the world. They're smart, they're, they're, they're into the show, they're, um, I think especially the comic fans, they, they really feel, they, they, they really feel like, um, I mean, they make us feel like we have a real responsibility to them, and we do, and they're, they're, they're really, really cool, loyal fans. Well, we're, uh, we're getting a lot of love on the fan page. We let them um, know that, uh, that we're coming to, 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 uh, to speak with you again. Rock and roll. Uh, let's see. Uh, Deanna Logue asks, do you ever get creeped out with all those zombies around you? <laughs> the first time I will say, Deanna? Right on, Deanna. Uh, you know, the first time I saw zombies at lunch, definitely creeped me out. And I have my dogs. I bring my pit bulls with me to, to work. We, we drive out from L.A. And when they first saw, when they first saw zombies, I was, uh, I was a little bit worried for the, the actors yeah. who were playing the zombies. My dogs were freaking out. But no, 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 no. All the people who play zombies are, uh, they've all been through zombie school. They're very, very cool people. And um, once you get to know them, you love them. All right, we got uh, Greg Guth ask, uh, is it true that there was only supposed to be one season that everyone was supposed to die in the final episode? I do not think so. <laughs> I do not think so. Uh, oh, Jacob you're trying, to, you're trying to decipher between which is too dirty, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I can see well, what you know, you're doing there. Some of the girls want to know a couple right things, roll, man, right? Yeah, is is John thing. single? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Right? Oh, we'll we'll boy. skip over that one. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, no, it's no. It's complicated. I think it's a Facebook. No, no, no. no, no. I'm not single. I'm no, no, a happily no. married man. No, no, no. That's no. it. Yeah. We're, we're, Apologies to Mrs. Uh, <laughs> right uh, so Jacob Davidson wants to know, I turned 18 in May. What are the odds I can get myself a spot as a zombie uh, for either of the, the next two seasons? Wow, that is a question that is way above my pay grade, man. I'm a dancing monkey. They tell me what to say, tell me where to stand, and that's what I do. Okay, let's see. Lizzie Klein asks, what do you feel uh, what do you feel that set, uh, what do you feel sets Walking Dead apart from the plethora of zombie post-apocalyptic movies shows out there now? Oh, Lizzie L. Klein, that's a really cool question. I think that, like the comic book, I think that this really isn't a zombie show. This is about the humans, and it's about the human condition in this unbelievably heightened, dangerous, uh, apocalypse, uh, apocalypse, you know, yeah, I can't, right. I, I, I sorry, it's a, <laughs> apocalyptic town. It's, it's been a long day, man. But, but um, I think really at the end of the day, what this, what this show is about and what sets us apart is is the humanity and is about the relationships and I think it's the first time I think Frank's uh, ability to actually make you feel empathy for zombies as you do for the bicycle girl, bicycle girl or, or you do for um, Morgan's wife you know I think that you've never really seen that before these are just people who got sick and I think it's a very different way to look at a zombie. Uh, see uh, Jennifer Rogers asked will they continue to focus on the triangle between you Sarah and Andrew in season two? You know, I don't know what they're going to do in season two, but um, well, we, could, would, we could skip over a lot of these questions. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, and it's not even that I can't yeah, tell. Right, I just right. don't know. Again, above my pay grade. But I would imagine that um, I imagine that there will be a lot of that in season two. Okay, let's see. Uh, Yvette Griffin wants to know if you're scared of the dark. No. <laughs> right? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Glenn Palmer wants to know, when are we going to see more shotgun headshots? Man, I love shooting that gun. It's, <laughs> it, 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 it's a rag gun. The only problem is it's so freaking loud, man, and that brings zombies, you know what I mean? So you got to, you know, you, 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 you've got to be, you, you've got to be very economic, you know, right, with, right, with right. how often you shoot that gun. Yeah, it's got to really count. Hey, well, listen, I know you got a tight schedule, uh, and there's still people lining up to see you. I just want to say thanks again, and, and thanks for helping answer the fan questions, man. You, you, yeah, there's a lot of love out there, and uh, this is one of the, our, the ways that our fans get to show it to you. Right on, right on. You're the man. I really dig it, man. I really dig talking with you. Thanks, John. More to come from C2E2 here in Chicago, McCormick Place. I'm KP. I am Stylin. StylinOnline.com. What's up, fans? It's KP here at C2E2. Welcome to C2E2. C2E2. Yeah, take it yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I always and love you f***ing heckling me off. I always love It's always great when boss. your boss is yeah, watching, right. man. It's f***ing <laughs> worse. It's like driving with your old man, dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What was that? Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood, too. She-Ra. Doctor Who. Star Wars, Episode 4. Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.